Hello beautiful soul, welcome to my channel. My name is Gaye, I am a master life coach and online entrepreneurship mentor. I specialize in the subconscious mind, in energy work, self-healing, online entrepreneurship, and I'm so happy that you're here because today's video is all about how to attract more money using the power of energetics. So if this is a entirely new concept, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be sharing with you just an introduction so you can start to get a better sense of what I mean by energy work and energetics and how to tangibly start to use it in your life. So before I started my wealth and transformation journey, I used to think that the only way to approach getting what I wanted or creating the results that I wanted was using my logical mind. And now I realize that you and I and everything around us is just energy. So every single energy has its own frequency, it's vibrating at a certain frequency. And when it comes to our relationship with money, it's really important to check what frequency we are vibrating at as emotional beings, what frequency we are vibrating at when it comes to that of money. Because money, just like everything else around us, is just energy. Money is a exchange between two people it's an agreement and if you think about it most of the money that you have spent or that you have generated in your life you have not physically seen or physically touched so just kind of if you were to think about your the electricity or the radio towers that are picking up your cell phone conversations and taking it across the planet and making it available to someone completely in a different time zone a different place you know that it works you know that it exists but you can't physically see it and so I want you to start approaching and thinking about money in this same way. Now, a way that we get a better understanding of what our current energetic frequency is like when it comes to money is to start thinking about your body's physical reactions. So when you open up your bank account or when you get a bill, what happens in your body? Does your heart rate increase? Do you get a feeling of tightness? Do you get a feeling of lack and scarcity? Because that can start to give you a sense of what frequency you are vibrating at when it comes to money because if we have a low frequency or a fearful one or one of lack or one of mistrust or one of just unpleasant energetic response to money what is that going to do that is going to repel the frequency of money that we want so when you think about let's say you've had a very uh profitable month in your business what does that feel like? How different does that compare your ener your physiological state? How different does that feel than on a tighter month? So start to think about that as you create this energetic relationship with money so that you can start to more easily attract more of it in your life using energy. So I'm gonna be sharing with you today one of my favorite tools called EFT. It stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques. And basically what it is, is allowing any stuck or stagnant energy to be released from your body because your emotions are just energy in motion. And if we are not actively allowing it to be released from our bodies, it is going to stay there and it is going to have an effect on our energetic uh, frequency and ability to more easily attract money. So the way that it starts is I'm going to just share with you my own personal routine. So this morning I was I got an email from my accountant about how much I owe in taxes. And my first response was to be like, oh my God, that's a lot more than I expected. And I realized, okay, I have to maintain the energetic frequency of money that I want so that I can attract the level of money that I want. So I'm going to focus on releasing any stuck or stagnant energy in my body using this method. So what I do first is I bring up the emotion using the outside of my hand. So the emotion is, let's say, fear. Fear that I won't be able to, or that this payment is going to it's just higher than expected. So what I do is I bring up the emotion by tapping on the outside part of my hand. And I think about this number of how much I owe in taxes and why I'm afraid of it. And I give it a score from one to 10. So the intensity of the emotion, I would say it's about a seven. So on a scale of one to seven, I am at a seven in terms of fear and anxiety when it comes to my money situation at the moment. So now that I have identified and brought up the emotion, I'm going to tap different areas in my body that are going to help me release this negative emotion and any associated thoughts with it. And then I'm going to tap in positive affirming emotions that I want 
in order to help me continue to grow in my journey and not allow negative stagnant energy to repel more opportunities uh, and my ability to make money. So these energetic hotspots, if you've heard of EFT or if you have not yet, EFT is basically similar to acupuncture. So if you've ever had acupuncture, you know that the premise is that you release, there's these different energetic meridians in your body that basically hold on to energy. And what we want to do is just break that up and allow it to leave so that we are in a more balanced state. So the first point is up here. And what I do is I either think to myself or say out loud. I do recommend speaking out loud. It is more powerful. You activate more parts of your mind, your body, uh, when you say things out loud. And you start to bring up all of the negativity associated with the fear that we just brought up. I currently am afraid that I am not going to be able to pay off this bill. Next spot. I fear that if I pay this bill or when I pay this bill, I'm not going to be left enough to meet my, not basic needs, but my desired uh, lifestyle. I fear that I'm not doing as well as I should be doing financially. I'm worried that I needed this money to do other things and I'm going to be very tight this month. I also fear that because I am a business coach, I need to be in constant overflow. And the fact that I'm even having these emotions around money make me feel less worthy. I fear that I'm not going to be able to pay my bills next month because of this much higher than expected bill this month. I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to do the things that I want to do because I'm not gonna be able to make enough money and that makes me feel afraid. Next spot is down here. I worry that this cycle of making a lot of money and then owing it all in taxes makes me not even want to make that much money in the first place. Okay, so that was round one and what we did was we tapped up here, 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 under the collarbone and then right basically on the bra strap. So the next round, now that we've released these negative emotions we are we allowed ourselves to feel the emotion we are going to now tap in positive affirmations in its place and if you can't think of anything you can just say even though i am having this negative emotion around money i deeply and completely love and accept myself or you can do basically similar to what we did in the first round and just say the opposite positive the kind of money or the kind of thoughts that you want to have around money instead Even though I have these fears around money, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself even though I'm having these negative thoughts and emotions around money. I release these fears and I embrace new levels of abundance and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I'm so grateful that I have to pay a high level of taxes because that means that my business is prosperous and it means that money loves me and my company and feels safe to come in and out of my life. Everything I spend comes back to me multiplied. Money that moves in and out is a healthy energetic frequency. If I didn't have to pay that much in taxes, that means that there wasn't a flow, an equal abundant flow of money coming into my life. So for that, I am grateful. I'm confident in my abilities to attract and make more money. Money loves being in my presence and being in my energy. 
I know that this bill is going to a good place. I'm happy to pay my taxes because it means that I have running water. It means that I have electricity. It means that I have paved roads and I can heat my house. And I'm grateful to, to allow my money to support that and to support me. Oh, wow. Okay, I feel so much better already. I'm like tingling. So this exercise, it is called EFT. And if you have any questions about EFT or you would like me to make more videos about how to use EFT, you can drop it below in the comments or you can write me. But I'm super happy that I was able to share this routine with you. I hope that you run with it. And if you would like me to create maybe a guide, oh, actually I have a guide. Maybe I'll, I will include that in this video that you can grab a picture or a little PDF to show you exactly where the tapping points are because we do have to be very specific about and intentional about where we're tapping. It's not just like tapping randomly. Um, these are very specific energetic meridians that follow our body. But I hope this was helpful for you. And I know that the more that you use this tool, the better that you are going to get about being more consistent with it because consistency is so important when it comes to our energetic relationship with money. It's not like we do this exercise once, we feel great and then we forget to do it. It's just like anything else. Everything we do requires maintenance. So I hope this video was inspiring and you are going to continue this practice because this is this practice of energetically connecting with money and my financial journey and my physiological and energetic relationship with money. It has completely changed my reality in a way that is so much more simple than just trying to outthink my own body and all these different things that are going on around me that I can't perceive with my own eyes, but I can feel on an energetic level. So thank you so much for tuning in this week and I'm looking forward to seeing you in future videos. Thank you so much. Bye everyone.